The canyon is a vulgaris, a very rare plant that only grows in the Grand Canyon. An herb workshop? Oh, what an excellent idea. <laughs> oh, salad. Just when I was feeling hungry. Oh, no! My canyon is vulgaris, naughty dog. That's okay. We'll go out and pick more. Ooh. And get a chance to escape. <laughs> Prisoner transport to Fort Alamo. Permission to stop over here and rest up our horses if we may, sir. I'm always delighted to welcome a feminine visitor, madam. Oh! Mm -hmm. Oh! Huh? Miss Lucy, bank robber. <laughs> what is. Huh? Incredible. Are you sisters? Us alike? Never! Now I'm seeing double. Must be that salad. Maybe if I ate some more salad, I'd see triple. Let's try. We might look like twins, but we're utterly different. Indeed. It must be hard to accept a black sheep in the family. That's for sure. She can't aim a gun or hold up a bank like the rest of us. What? You mean that? Yes. My parents were gangsters. But I have nothing to do with them, nor with her. Now, if you don't mind, I have a serious workshop to prepare. Uh -huh. I've got an idea. If we can swap the twins, maybe we could use the new one to help us get out of here, like... like pretending to go pick herbs or something. The problem is, no one's gonna believe that that's Miss Betty. I want to make you an offer. Take my sister's place. It'll be a piece of cake. Uh, okay, here we go. Potion. You want permission to go out and collect plants with the Daltons? Of course. Always happy to help out a lady, right, boys? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Mr. Peabody, sir. Just a tiny little signature, please. Uh, oh, well, since you are so nicely, you can take the Daltons. But only after the book club. What? But I can't read? Huh? <laughs> she means she's unprepared, but we're going to give her a hand. Ooh. Ah. And thus, Little Red Riding Hood made her way into the forest with her basket of bread and little pot of butter. So the wolf, taking advantage of Red Riding Hood's faulty eyesight... Keep it short. But, Joe, I just started. Oh. Shut up! Ah. And so Little Red Riding Hood punched the wolf and knocked him out, and... Yeah. No, 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 no. You liked it? Yeah. Okay, this is a story about a princess who loved wrestling. Uh, that's enough for today. No. Yeah! 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 I believe you have plants to gather. The fresh air will do you good. Stop! Arrest her! Imposter! I'm the real Miss Betty! What nonsense! I'm the real Miss Betty! No! Oh, no. I'm the real Miss Betty! Well, I'll admit this is perplexing. I'm not sure. Now, come, come, ladies. <laughs> Miss Betty and her twin fighting? They must have put too much dressing in that salad. No, I must do something. Yeah! Renton Dum's defending Miss Betty against her sister. What? Not at all. That silly dog got it all wrong. That's all. You know how stupid he is. Hmm. Hmm? Miss Betty would never say something like that. Arrest her. But it's me. I'm telling you, it's me. Well, how about our planned expedition? Now to get rid of the guards. Oh! 
<laughs> sure feels good being me again. Free at last. Let's rob a bank to celebrate. You're not going huh? anywhere. Hands up. You? But how? Oh, I got in touch with my inner gangster side. You should have seen the gods' faces when I held them up. <laughs> That's enough. Get the gun and let's move. My darling huh? sister. Oh, I am so proud of you. We're not so different after all. You know what? I really love taking care of all the prisoners. All this emotional stuff makes me feel nauseous. Come on, let's go. No way. Oh, oh. <laughs> Guess I'm not so tough after all. <laughs> <laughs> Here, a farewell present. Ciao, sis. A wanted notice has been posted. I hope we find her soon. In any case, I'm truly delighted to have found you again. Hmm? You sure that it's me this time? You never know. I am so sorry. I must have had sunstroke. That's all right. I understand. I confess that sometimes I hardly recognize myself. <laughs> oh! <laughs> A little bit of Miss Lucy still here, I reckon. Melvin Peabody? In person. It is my great honor to run this penitentiary. I, uh... On the governor's orders, we're entrusting you with the most ruthless, most dangerous criminal in this vast continent from the north of Canada to the Rio Grande. The said prisoner is now officially under your care. Come on, last time to go! Well, well. Uh, Emmett? Pete? Uh, open up the, uh, box, please. Yeah, go ahead. Open the can of sardines so we get to see the terror. Yum! That sardine must be enormous! <laughs> yeah, a mummy! That's no sardine. That's a little shrimp. Hi there. My name is Jenny. Wait a second. What is this? Is this somebody's joke? Did you lose your mommy? How about your little dolly here? What's your name? <laughs> my dolly! I want my dolly! Give me my Give her dolly! back the doll. Just look at how unhappy she is. Whoever touches my dolly, I trample, smash, and turn inside out like an old sock. Oh, I'm so terribly scared. Listen up, Pipsqueak. We are the Daltons. Between us four, I mean especially me, we have robbed more banks than you've had hot dinners. So, kid, you owe us respect. On second thought, the girl deserves her reputation. So we stick to her real close, and when she escapes, we go along. Good. Today isn't shower day, all right. <laughs> all we do is follow little pigtails. Yeehaw! Hey, it's raining! All right, the tap is leaking. This must be a diabolical plan to stop archaeologists from entering the secret burial chamber. Hmm? Those Egyptians are so smart. You know, mister, I'm not scared. Me and my dolly always make our escape. Hello! Oh, but we're not escaping at all. We're just taking a stroll through the pipes, you know, to get some fresh air. Want a sweetie? What's that noise? I'll say it again so it's nice and clear. I always escape. Alone! Do you get it? 
our time. She's been playing with her tops for hours. No, she's preparing to escape. I feel it. What did I say? Come on, everyone, follow little pigtails. Following the mummy into the catacombs? It's madness. Huh? Mummy must have buried them here. Hmm? We are free! <laughs> Chief, the Pale Faces made a great big hole from under the ground in your golf course. What? Take your arrows, tomahawks, and golf gloves after them! We find a town, we hold up two or three bags, we spend it all in a saloon, and we start all over. Hmm? Look, guys, there's burnies in the sky! Everyone take cover! Okay, what do you want us to do? We jump on those big bouncy balls and we bounce higher and higher and boing, right over the wall. Brilliant. Come on, let's bounce. Bam, 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 and we're out. But it doesn't go bam, bam, it goes tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock? Ow. I always escape. need her to escape. We can manage fine by ourselves. Mail delivery! Package for the Daltons! Hi, it's Jenny. Since I actually like you and I'm really nice, I've enclosed a little present. Bye for now! The key to the prison gates! That little kid is so adorable. Alert! A miniature mummy with evil powers! We need a new idea. I can't stand watching you sew. Look, Joe, see the beautiful cushion I'm making for Ma? Ah. You ninny! There, there, there! Haven't you got anything better to do? Dalton's yeah. to the visiting room. Someone to see you. Huh? <laughs> 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 Look, Joe, it's a trick mirror. Joe! You haven't changed. B -b 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 Madam? Joanna, and this here's Jacqueline, Wilhelmina, and Ava. We're your cousins from Boston. How about that? How could I ever imagine that the worst bandits in the West would be related to charming young ladies like you? Oh, Mr. Peabody, you're so charming. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> of course, you are my guest here. May I take you on a little tour? Now, what are those girls up to? But, Joe, they came to see us. They're all family just the same. There's something fishy going on. Now, <laughs> 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 the Dalton's in disguise, and they're trying to escape. I must stop this. As you can see, this building's design ensures that it's the most secure prison in the West. <gasps> mm? Joanna, some 
something stuck in my dress. Oh, that's Renton Dom, our guard dog. He's not mean, just stupid. The probabilities of escape are minimal, except, of course, if one takes advantage of the changing of the guards, which happens every eight hours and last nine minutes, during which the main gates are unattended. But, of course, one needs to have the key, and the guards keep those, and they're not about to hand them over. <laughs> Joe, you little tyke, how are you? Huh? I'm actually not little, let's just say, uh, less tall, sort of. How about breaking out of here? I got a plan. Peabody explained everything. Miss Joanna? Oh, you sure look well. Glad to see that. And now we will visit the stables, if you like. Oh, yes, I'd love to. <laughs> So when do we escape? Here's the deal. We get you out, and you help us claim our inheritance from an old uncle who passed on. We're women, so we can't sign the papers to get the loot. A man has to sign for us. Unbelievable, but true. Women in the 19th century didn't have the right to vote and were financially dependent on their fathers or husbands. Luckily, all that has changed. Today, men and women are equal by law. Okay, but we want our share of the loot. Half each and you get your freedom. Is that a deal? Mm. It's a deal. <laughs> we keep all the dough for ourselves. They can't do anything about it. They're women. You're worse than the law, Joe. You understand? You go to the solicitor with Joanna, and you're her dad, Jason Dalton, from Boston. Well, how come I have to be her dad? Because you're mm -hmm. the one who looks the most like him. You're a spitting image. Uh... No discussion. Just sign the papers and let Joanna do the talking. Good morning, Mr. Solicitor, sir. I'm Jason, my cousin's Joanna's father. Maybe we shouldn't have sent Avril. Hey, you are going to do a wish. Good morning, Mr. Banker. I'm Jason Dalton, Pa's half brother. Oh. Cousin, we are rich. We'll use this money to improve women's rights. That's right. Enough of male domination. Long live women. Oh, yeah? And what are you feeble little females going to do against the worst bandits in the West? All right, let me think. Do we shoot them? <laughs> well, okay, but at least we're free, aren't we? So we can put our arms <laughs> down now. Hands up, <laughs> Daltons. Your charming cousins kept their word. They left you right where they said they would. Trustism and respectism. They pulled one over us, Joe. Yeah, but they're still family. Real gangsterettes, those girls. Worthy of the Dalton name. Oh. This one won't get away. <laughs> 
Not one, two, or three, but four dollars. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, four dollars is all I'm asking. Ford is magnificent, entirely handmade marionette. Be warned, it's not enough for everybody. Huh, <laughs> that doll doesn't even know how to saw through bars. Well, <laughs> so pretty. Well, my friend, feeling tempted? I only have three dollars. Hmm, sold. <laughs> only be careful. This doll is no ordinary doll. She has special powers. Watch. <laughs> I'm gonna call you Charlotte. <laughs> I have been touched by the Lord of Death. <laughs> but where did he go? An idea. I need an idea for an escape. Oh, hi there, Mr. Joe. My name is Charlotte. Watch, I know how to dance. Stop it, Avril. I can't think straight. <laughs> <laughs> Want me to slap you? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was Charlotte. She has a special power. Power? What kind of power? Well, if you put a dog hair on her, you can make him dance. It works on you, too. <laughs> hey, I wonder if it works on me. <laughs> <laughs> this evening, this delightful little doll is going to order our prison director to set us free. <laughs> My doll! Give her to me! First, we pluck one of Peabody's hairs. Better move fast, he hasn't got many left. In the Dalton family, we have been hairdressers for several generations. Treat yourself to a stylish cut. All right, why not? Oh. There! Already? Mm. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! That's done! We start tonight, and soon we'll be on our way. I'm not coming with you! I had to find the Lord of Dance. There! I'm sure that will bring him back again. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> what a dream. <laughs> a painful dream at that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Mr. Peabody, sir, are you okay? Shh! Don't do anything! You must never wake up a somnambulist. Oh, am I a somnambulist? Ah! Oh. See? He's going back to bed. <laughs> I suggest that we do the same. I'll never get it right. This darn puppet is really hard to manipulate. Avril is really good at it. Yeah, but Avril's sulking. I, Joe Dalton, swear to give all my desserts to Avril during an entire month. I agree. But afterwards, you give me Charlotte back. She's my doll, right? Mm. Now, make him go into his office and get the keys. <laughs> Strange how realistic his dreams can be sometimes. Hey, I'm dreaming that I'm opening the main doors. Gods! Stop me! Shut him up, Avril! God! Yeah! 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 Are the Dalton somnambulists too? Sure looks like it. So we don't wake him up, right? No, we don't. <gasps> yeah! 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 Drop the dog, you ninny. We're free now. What 
no! You said I could keep her! Ah! Charlotte! Ah! End of the road, Mr. Puppeteer. I understood what your game was. <laughs> what cleverism. Joe, Avril's got caught. We'll go back and get that ninny later. No time now. Gods! Go get me the Dalton's hairs from their cell. You've got a hair from each and every Dalton? Mm -hmm. No! <laughs> oh. What's happening to us? No! <laughs> I knew it could work with them all at once. No, no. no there you are, guys. No. It's actually quite a lot of fun playing around with dolls. Hmm? Depends on who's playing. Uh, the trouble with dance parties is that somebody always ends up being a wallflower. 